Hey guys, it's Kiki, and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my pencil case video. So this was requested a while back by, thank you so so much, and I'm really sorry that this has taken so long to do, but anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I usually bring two pencil cases to school, but the main one I use is this Chip and Dale pencil case. The main pen that I use is the Pentel Energel Klenner, but the inside is the Muji 0.5 gel pen. So I really liked the outside of the Klenner, but I didn't have a lot of the Pentel refills, so I decided to put in the Muji ones instead. The next item is the Pentel Energel Infree. So this one actually has the Energel ink in it and I use this usually when I'm going to highlight something because the Muji pen tends to smudge quite a lot. The next pen is the Uni Jetstream in the size 0.7. So I don't really use this that much but I really like it because it glides on like a ballpoint pen but it looks like a gel pen. So if you guys like a gel ink pen but also ballpoint pens, I would definitely recommend this pen. The next item is the black 0.7 polycarbonate ballpoint pen by Muji. So this is definitely the best ballpoint pen I've ever used but I don't really use it just because I don't use ballpoint pens. I only use this when I'm writing on loose sheet paper but I would definitely recommend this if you like ballpoint pens. The next item is the Sarasa Select, so I use this all the time in maths because you can choose what colours and what things you want in the actual pen. So I chose lead, black, blue, red and gold in this. So I don't use gold for my math notebooks but I use it for my bullet journals and this is probably the best thing I've used for maths. The next item is just an ordinary foldable rule lamp by Daiso. The next item is the Tombow Pit glue stick. So this is from the Aroma line and it is in the size small. So this glue stick is supposed to smell like rose but for me it smells like lychees. But it smells really nice so I would definitely recommend this glue stick. The next item is a pen type scissors. So I got this a while back, but I've been using it for so long, it's just amazing. I really love this because it doesn't take up any space in your pencil case, but it is also really easy to use. The next item is just an ordinary white out I got from Japan. The next item is the Tombow Mono Plastic Eraser. So this rubs out pretty good, so I would definitely recommend this. The next item is the Tombow Mono One Eraser. So this is kind of like a pen type shape eraser. So I don't really use this that much, but when I need to rub out something really small, this is the go-to eraser. The next item is the Pentel Sign Pen. So this is not the Fude Touch brush pen, but this is also pretty good and this is a bit thicker. The next item is the Uni Kuritoga 0.5 Mechanical Pencil. So this is probably my favourite mechanical pencil of all time. The next item is the 0.5 Gel Ink Pen by Muji. So this is in the colour grey and I use this all the time for dates and things like that in my notes. The next seven items are the coloured pens that I use for my notes. So five of them are the classic Muji pens, but the other two are different. So one of them really reminds me of the Sarasa clip, and the other one is basically the same one that I showed you as the grey one. The next items are the mild liners. So I bring around 13 of them, and I use this all the time in my notes, and I would definitely recommend this to anyone who is looking for a great highlighter for note taking. The next three items are the window highlighters in the colours yellow, pink and green. So I don't use this on my notes but I use them to highlight important information. The next three items are the Uni Propus window highlighters. 
so these are the smoothest highlighters I've ever used but the only reason why I don't use these for my notes is because they have limited colors so I only bought the teal, blue and purple in the soft colors. The other pencil case I use is this pencil case I got from Japan which I just put in some of my other things like colour pens. First I have this colour marker set I got from Muji. So I really like this because there are lots of colours and they're really nice to use. Next is the stationery set I got from Daiso which has a stapler, some sticky tape and paper clips. And I have this large sticky note that I got from, I think, Daiso. And this is really, really useful because you can use this for your notes. Then I have a whole bunch of washi tape and these sticky note tapes. Next, I have this thing called tape glue. So this is really, really useful if you're using washi tape or sticky notes in your notes because you can just place them on the areas you need to stick. Then I just have some 0.5 lead from Pentel. Next I have this pen from Post-it. So basically it is just a blue pen but on the other side there are some sticky notes. Next is this crayon pen I got from Japan. So basically you can just switch out the colours and it's basically like a full set of crayons but in just one pen. Then I have this whiteboard marker that we sometimes use in class. Next is this erasable pen I got from Muji. So I really like these a lot better than the Pilot friction pens because they are so much smoother and so much easier to use. Next I have three colours from the Daiso marker pen packs. So these are just the colours that I don't have of the mark liners. Then I have this 0.7 Enagel pen. So I don't really use this that often just because it's really thick, but it is so smooth and it doesn't smudge. So I'll definitely recommend this pen. Next, I just have a 0.7 Muji gel ink pen. Next, I have this double-sided brush pen that I mostly use only for my bullet journals. So I really like this because these are a lot like the Tombow pens. Next I have a 0.5 Sarasal white gel ink pen. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really curious to see how many of you guys are subscribed to my channel. So definitely comment down below if you guys are or newly subscribed. Anyways, as always, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below what video you'd like me to do next. Bye guys, see you next time!